What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing Americana or a key lock hold. We're gonna do it from the mount, from side control. I'll give you a whole bunch of little details. It's gonna help you out next time in your roll. All right, so what's going on guys? Uh, I got my man Manny here with me today. I'm gonna reset that, because I don't wanna say man and Manny back to back. <laughs> Actually, you can keep that, it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna work on the Americana today. Uh, I watched a bunch of different videos, um, just trying to really figure out what everybody out there is doing, if there's any new techniques that I don't know. If you, if you can't tell, <laughs> our, our owner is over here laughing his ass off right now, so. <laughs> Don't, don't mind him. <laughs> so, so, so I got Manny right here at Mount, okay? We like to have fun making these videos and turn it this way. So, I'm going mount it on Manny, right? Now, the normal uh, entry and way that you see the Americana being done, everybody's seen this, right? They're here, they get the hands up, right? Usually this guy is trying to keep his hands close to his neck or his chin so that I can't start splitting the parts here to get my arm bar set up and I can't really get any good shoulder pressure set up on him, right? So, what does everybody do? The first thing I ever learned, and this is like most of you probably learned this first, is we, we kind of like try to fake him out and we choose an arm and then we post this arm to the ground. This was the good one, isn't it? This is the one you want me to do? Okay, you said do this one. <laughs> so then I'll look, I'll drop my elbow down, right? And then I go here and then I finish my Americana, okay? But, what is the problem that happens when we do this? A lot of times, as I start to flatten Manny's grip to the ground, they straighten the arm, right? And then we end up in this mousetrap battle, right? I'm trying to get the Americana, he straightens it again, I straighten it out, I start to go for the straight arm lock, I'm not getting it, he turns it all the way over the opposite way. Nope, so Manny doesn't know the opposite way, it's okay. So. Yeah. Not big important, not a big important detail. But the big thing is a lot of people straighten the arm out. And now I'm losing my Americana, right? So what can I do to help mitigate the, the risk or the, the possibility of Manny straightening his arm out? Um, so I saw a video with Henry Aikens and uh, Hicks, uh, he's a Hicks and Gracie black belt. If you know Hicks, he's probably the best of the Gracies, right? And he was working with Bernardo Faria on BJJ Fanatics. So one thing he talked about being here in general, when I'm in mount, is I'm kind of giving Manny a little bit of a squeeze with my legs. Right now I'm squeezing his abdomen. I'm not just sitting open like this, because then Manny can start doing his elbow escapes. Yeah, he's getting his leg inside. I'm not really controlling him, right? So I'm here and I'm just snugly squeezing his body, right? I'm not squeezing 100% and like burning my legs out. Just nice and comfy, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, Henry's talking about making this hook. Right, we call this a seahorse, seahorse grip. I'm gonna take this hook, throw it down on Manny's arm, and then drag my elbow to the ground. And then I'm gonna come to my Americana and make my adjustments, okay? What does this hook do? This hook stops Manny from straightening his arm. If I go to grab Manny's arm like this, or I go to push like this, this he straightens it out. I grab his arm, he straightens it out. My four fingers are not gonna win against Manny's arm, okay? When I make this hook here, and I make these, this anatomical seahorse grip, and I go and I lock Manny's wrist up, now when he goes to straighten his arm, go ahead, he can't straighten his arm. And it kinda hurts his elbow a little bit if I'm really <laughs> pushing in on it, okay? I keep this nice and tight, I drop my elbow all the way to the ground, and then from here we're gonna hit our normal Americana. Now, I don't really, I'm not really too concerned about this person as I drop my elbow to the ground. If it's my training partner, yeah, I'm not gonna drop my elbow and elbow him straight in the nose and chin and the face on the way down. If it's a fight, who cares? If I'm doing a jiu-jitsu tournament, I don't really care either. I'm gonna drop his elbow nice and hard down and grind down their face, All right? It's a free shot. Now, how we're gonna finish this uh, lock from here, you can also call this a key lock. Key lock, Americana, they're all just names. Uh, I have my arm hooked, right? I have his wrist. I slide my other hand underneath, and I'm also gonna lock my own wrist. Now, the big important detail here 
is really motorcycle gripping my wrist like this. Okay, so I have Manny's wrist and I'm doing this. I'm really trying to like, look what happens when I take my hand and I motorcycle grip it with just my one hand. It turns his hand outward and this tightens up the forearm and the shoulder, especially when I have my arm underneath his bicep, right? This just makes it a little tighter. May have just tightened up a little bit. Haven't even done this one yet. Now when I do this one and I really lock it in, now we're nice and tight, okay? I'm really, I'm really trying to reach over his wrist and really trying to reach over my own wrist. From here, I'm gonna drag Manny's wrist on the ground like a paintbrush, okay? I'm gonna draw like a little smiley face of death, okay? I'm here, wrist is pinned to the ground. I draw my smiley face of death and I bring his elbow and my elbow to his hip. Okay, he's tapping already. But let's say we get all the way down, I'm gonna loosen up with my hands. Let's say we get all the way next to his body and he still hasn't tapped. Then from here is where we're gonna start to lift. Okay, and finish. Now, let's say Manny's super flexible, right? Let's say he's super flexible. And I get all the way down to the, to the hip and I'm still lifting his elbow and he still hasn't tapped. What am I gonna do from there? So let's pretend Manny's here. Everything's super loose right now. And let's pretend his wrist is on the ground. I got everything locked up, right? He's not tapping because he's super flexible. I'm gonna take his wrist and I'm gonna drag it through underneath his elbow. So I wanna make his elbow go this way and I want his wrist to go underneath. So I would be here and I'm just gonna rip his wrist through and break his arm, okay? If it's a jiu-jitsu tournament and he's not tapping, I'm gonna break his arm. I'm gonna rip his shoulder out. I don't care. If it's a fight, obviously I'm gonna rip his shoulder out. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna do this fast and hard. Um, if it's your partner and he's not tapping because he's being stubborn or maybe he is just stupid flexible and you know He's not tap I don't know. He's not tapping for some reason. Just cut bait and, and go to something else, right? You don't want to hurt your training partner. So let's be smart be smart about it So we're reset back here, right? We're gonna start over again now Depending on how I want to get Manny's hands here. Maybe he's fighting my hips and whatnot, right? And this is just pure jujitsu. Maybe I start taking, doing my what time is it grip and I start grinding his chin. He wants to pick his hands back up. I start getting underneath here. I start getting my shoulder pressure, doing something to get his hands up here, okay? If that's what I'm looking for. Or if it's MMA, obviously I can just start punching and throwing elbows, street fight as well, right? I'm here, his hands are up. This is my perfect time to get my hook and drop the elbow down. I'm here, boom, I get it locked up. I'm gonna motorcycle grip, motorcycle grip. From here, I'm gonna drag, turn here a little bit. I'm gonna do this, the paintbrush of death, right? And I'm gonna drag my elbow to his hip and his elbow to his ribs. I drag, I drag, I drag, I drag, I drag. Man, he's gonna tap here, but if he's a little more flexible, I'm gonna loosen up and he doesn't tap here. I'm gonna lift this elbow up and I'm gonna start to force his wrist underneath his elbow this way. Okay, I'm just gonna rip his shoulder out. Another little setup that I like to do from here as well, is I'm just gonna feed my hand, that's, I'm gonna be getting some good shoulder pressure, right? I have my hand underneath his head, and I'm giving him some shoulder pressure here. And he doesn't like this. I'm just gonna go ahead, this is gonna be one time, I don't really need to make a hook for this, because this, for me, this is kinda like, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I'm gonna move on to something else, or keep working. So I'm gonna force his wrist to the ground here and hand it off to my hand that was around the head, right? All I do is go from here, shoulder pressure, here, hand it off. Now from here I can go ahead and take my other hand, get my Kimura grip set up. Now I just gotta force my elbow across and dislodge his head again. This is also a small little, or a big little detail is I don't wanna have my elbow up on the top of Manny's head. This is gonna be really awkward. He starts fighting his head back inside, yeah. As soon as I get my elbow, anytime, I wanna put my elbow all the way down to the base of his neck. Okay, so again, shoulder pressure. All right, boom. Rip his wrist to the ground. Feed it off to my hand around the head. Get my lock. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I can either just pick my elbow up, lift it, and then drive it down his face or I can lift it around and then dislodge his head again. And then we finish like we normally do, okay? Um, 
Good, so that's one setup. So now I wanna work on from side control. So side control's a little different, right? Manny's got his hand on my hip. So we're actually gonna do it just from here, right? I have my shoulder pressure going and Manny's arm is just around my head. Now what does he wanna do from here? He wants to start fu funneling his arm around my face and underneath my chin so he can start creating space and getting his underhook and start to escape and coming out, right? So I know this. So I'm here. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and start pressuring my face and my head on top of his arm because I don't want it to get away quickly, okay? I'm gonna have some time here, especially if I'm really tight and he starts grinding his, his arm down my face. I'm gonna have a little bit of time. In this time, I'm gonna take my hand out from the head, come around, make my hook grip. Now he tries to straighten his arm, he's not gonna get it, okay? Again, giving him shoulder pressure, starts falling around my face. I see it coming, I pull my hand out, I hook, drop my elbow, get my Americana grip, or key lock, right? Remember, same thing, I'm gonna motorcycle grip, motorcycle grip, it's nice and tight. Now, I'm gonna use my upper body and core to take his arm to his hip, okay? I'm not gonna go here and then start lifting and then just use my body like this. Especially watch how my body, if I start lifting and he rolls me, he can come right, right up into me. Yeah, and I lose it. And then people end up in mount with this Americana grip all the time. I see this all the time and they hold on to this. You're not gonna get anybody with this. Maybe, if they're, if they're terrible. So I'm here, his hands on my hip. Boom, boom, again in front of my face. I hook, I take it, boom. I'm using my core. Notice it's just my upper body moving to his hip. Drawing my, my, my uh, smile of death, right? Pinning his wrist to the ground, dragging it on the ground all the way to his hip. Once I get here, I can start lifting and forcing his wrist underneath. Now, another little detail I'm, I'm doing here, I'm keeping heavy pressure on his chest the whole time with my chest, okay? Because what happens? If I go here and I'm off of his chest right now, right, I'm not contacting, and I just start lifting here, look at what happens to his body. He comes up. It gives him a little bit of flexibility here, okay? I want to be heavy on his chest. I want him breathing just a little harder, okay? From here, I bring my, his elbow to his chest. He's nice and flat, he's tapping. Like I said, if I'm here and I get to here and he still hasn't tapped yet, I'm gonna rip through and rip his arm out. Okay? If you can, if you have the power for that. I get him here, he starts following in my face, boom, hook, grab, motorcycle grip, core, lift, pull the wrist through. Okay? And what this actually opens up a lot of times that I've noticed um, from side control specifically is Manny starts to fight his other arm through underneath to grab his own hand. Yeah. yeah, this is what they try to do. Which, this is not a bad defense because now I'm not gonna finish this, ar this uh, Americana, right? But what does that lead to me or give me? Then I can start getting my grips here, start taking them back. Okay, that's what I've been using for a lot lately, is forcing that Americana there. I'm forcing the back take, right? Boom, boom, I start going, he brings his arms through. Okay, I feed it to here, get my, my gift wrap, slide my knee up underneath, and I take the back. And it's the exact same thing from the mount, right? I'm here on the mount, and this is specifically when I'm doing my shoulder pressure. Shoulder pressure, I force the hand down, and I start getting here, people start getting freaked out. So they bring the arms through. What do I do? Look, all I gotta do is hand this off to my hand. Boom. Sit out, start working your back chokes. So, even if we don't get the Americana or the key lock, this also opens up the back or other things that you know can lead to a finish later down the line. And uh, that's about it. Whew. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I did, it wasn't my shoulder. Um, so that was just kind of some big details and little things that I like to do from the Americana and the key lock, from side control, mount, 
I've been hitting them a lot in the gym. Um, a lot of my students have also been hitting as well. So we've been really, really hard on it lately. Um, the next time you roll, rewatch this video, freshen up, and then try it. Because when you're doing it in the gym, nobody knows you're about to go for these moves, right? You're probably gonna be playing your A1 games. So try it out, as long as you're gonna get good at it. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, like, share it. Uh, come back for some more content later.